Oh, who's our patron shout out? Um, Shiny Ghost. Oh, okay. Shiny. Shiny Ghost. Do you, want me, do you want me to start or do you want to start? Ooh, I'm not Mr. Tasha Colby, but Tasha. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jeff oh, just messaged on Grander saying mature guy <gasps> at many limits. Oh, no, thanks. What is Jeff. that? Oh, I thought that was a pitch. <laughs> That's my dog. I was like, oh, like, well, I, I was, I was like, like, you George, can't show that. Skip it. But OK, I was like, George, skip it. <laughs> Put that bit out. <laughs> I literally thought that, that was some man's nuts. I don't know. <laughs> some black. I'm not that I bad. I do know. <laughs> but anyways, woo, thank you, Shiny Ghost, for being oh. a patron. <laughs> thank y'all. If you want shiny black nuts, let us know. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Shiny. It's been a privilege and honor. <laughs> there goes the subscription. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Lord. That churn's going to be different next week. Welcome to the Horror Hour. I'm just so scared. We all go a little mad. Oh, oh, I get you. Oh, you oh, 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 All right. Three, two, it is so hot in New York. Oh is my it? God. Is it? Have you got the AC on? No, I turn it off because that shit is so loud. Mm. Yeah. But that's okay. I got, uh, you know, I got some ice in between my, you know. Okay. Yeah. You should put yeah. one on your um, nip on the nipples. It cools it down. Ooh. All right. Know me. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, hello. <laughs> Welcome to the Horror Hour, the place where we discuss, debate, and disagree on all things horror. I'm one of your hosts, George. And today, Andrew and my fellow co host, we have Utaka. Hello. Hello. And we have David. Hi. I'm back and I'm just over here looking for a man for a great ass eater that can suck the scabs right on my asshole. So please message us below if that's yeah. you're interested. <laughs> oh, yeah. And they're freshly cut. We need to know your like... qualifications. Oh, that's all. Yeah. Suck the scabs out, you know, like in my... So when it gets, when you rip it off with your tongue, it just has that white, that wet, you know, raw. Oh, no. I, I don't, don't even know. know. No. You don't? No. Oh. I was I watching the one. guy the other day. Who's that skinny? He's one of the skinny twinks. He's on, and he has TikTok <laughs> now. He's on, he's on the <laughs> PORN channels. And um, he was, people ask him questions all the time. He's really famous, skinny um, bottom. And okay. he was, so people ask him questions like about bottom him. And then he was like, you know, he's like, make sure you use a lot of lube and make sure you're in the mood. Because if you're not, you're not going to enjoy it. You've got to want it. And I was like, that was really good advice. Paste. Yeah, he's Saber. like, because he's like, sometimes I'm not in the mood and I don't want it. He's like, so anyway, I just thought that was a little moment there if anyone's interested. So anyways, we're I here mean, to talk about horror, you could just y'all. just lay down and say, t- oh. <laughs> <laughs> I forget this isn't the after hours. Yes, I today. Mean, yeah. <laughs> we'll continue to- this conversation. Yeah. We definitely will. After. I'll find out who it is. Um, oh, so my today, Lord. God, so I'm getting today, so red in the face. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about supporting, and I don't like that word, about, you know, the ones that hold up the rest of whatever we're watching, characters, aka supporting characters. Um, mm. They support, but they do a lot more than just that, because a lot of They're the time... They're not the main characters. No, but a lot of the but, time they can give uh, us a moment that outshines or makes the, the whole project... They can be stealers. They really can. And I'm looking forward to seeing what we've all got today um, because there are some great supporting characters across all of horror. So, oh. um, without further ado, I might just start because, you know, oh. I, I might as well. Just because I'm, I'm here. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> oh, um, so, actually, the first one... I I'm said gonna... get that off the stage. No. Oh, girl. Um, no, so <laughs> my, f- my first one is from a TV show. Um, oh. And it is, I was just watching it yesterday and I was like, of course, this has to be on my list. And it is Myrtle Snow in American Horror Story. I knew from that tweet you did like yesterday. Yeah, it was coming. <laughs> it was coming. I mean, there were so many, but I was like, it's got to be Myrtle Snow. And then I was literally watching oh. Apocalypse and I forgot like the, that iconic scene in um, the last episode where she goes up against Sarah Paulson as Miss Venables and she says about um, purpose for royalty, dear not middle management. Mm. Like she had just so many great lines. And the way that Frances Conroy delivers the lines, especially as Myrtle Snow, um, it just like mm-hmm. she is completely different to any other 
character. She does like a like it's just it feel I honestly forget that it's her. And I'm like, oh wait, this is Frances Conroy. And she does obviously kudos to some of the writing, but Frances is the one who literally creates that character and makes her just so it's just like it's a slow talking like this. Like it's just like the way she yeah. It's just like, oh, she is an icon, a legend, and mm. she has so many moments that are just the best. She made Coven, like, obviously there are a lot of great moments in Coven, but she was one of the ones that was like, like her versus Fiona, obviously Balenciaga. Like, mm. I, I could go on forever. Like, Myrtle Snow you know. is the MVP of supporting characters. In I America. mean, love her, but the way Fiona... <laughs> When, Fiona, yeah. when she stood up and she was like you will sit and she just sits oh i i my my lips just open up and quiver on the outside because it's like it is so good the interactions with her with her and she's like when she's sitting down and she's so con- condescending and she's like when she just yeah. has the cigarette oh i live at that t- entire interrogation oh when spaulding walks in and she's like yeah. when she gets the note and she gets pissed off oh oh sh- i live oh yeah live. that whole seat <sighs> So we all know I don't like American Horror Story Asylum, but mm-hmm. I did love her portrayal of death. Yeah. Angel oh, of death. Oh. She was so good. And like, oh, just her line delivery. She was only in it for just that little bit, but she looked incredible. Every her, every one of her characters has an elegance to it. Like, yes. There's a little like, sophistication yes. to it where she's just like, oh, rich, old money. Yeah. Like when those wings open up and she's like. Are you ready? Mm. And you're like, oh yes. I like mm. I, if I if when I die on my deathbed, if Francis Conroy doesn't turn up like that, I'm gonna be like, send it back over there. I think it's all the, it's gonna be all the men that you've given an STD to that are gonna show up on your. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Yeah. There's enough room. There has to be a bit. <laughs> all of the UK is gonna show <laughs> yeah. up. There used to be a novella that I used to watch as a kid with my grandma. That the villain was so she killed so many people that when she at the finale she fell into a casket and all the men, other people that she's killed, like showed up as cadavers on her and then thinking she got buried. It is one of the most Damn. ridiculous That's endings. Twisted. But I still I remember. love that. Oh, it's so over the top. I forgot that the novella, but me and my grandma were cracked. We're like, <gasps> no. Yeah, we were. Yeah, we we're living. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. <laughs> I love a bit of drama, which is what oh, yeah. like Myrtle Snow exudes in all of her moments. And I was so glad that they managed to find a way to bring her back in Apocalypse because I was like, we needed that. Like, she kind of helps separate from when you've got like the younger cast with like Emma and everyone, which is great, iconic, amazing. I think she just adds a bit more, like like you say, like there's like an elegance, like a Regal. sort of. Like, and then in and in in what's best in like. Apocalypse is she's got the vape, like the big vape thing. <laughs> she's like walking down the street, it's like all the smoke. She's giving like Liam at a party. Speaking like speaking of she... elegance and talent, <laughs> yeah. like with Kim Kardashian, like she's in the next season. I count. Mm-hmm. Let me mm-hmm. listen. <laughs> I I have faith in this. I think so. You do. Good. I really right. do. And I didn't. Well, let me have... call Buffy because I don't. I don't know what. I don't. I don't know what you see. I don't. Well, yeah. hold on. I'm Nobody confused. thought at, for a while, like, I was shocked when, like, uh, Nicki Minaj was being cast in things. I'm like, she can't act. Oh, she's a good actor. I don't know. She's and then a good I actress. was like, holy shit, she's really good. And she's funny. She went to school for acting. That's what she went to school for. Oh, see, I didn't know that. But yes. Kim, yeah, I mean, I know, obviously, Kim, like, disaster movie. She was terrible in that. Um, but do you know what? She, like, I, I feel like they will write her something that's, like, basically her. So that yeah. she doesn't really have to act. Yeah, and then it will, and I, you know, and it could be like a cameo thing. They could just be like pushing it to be like, hey, you know, because well, I don't even want to want her is like in a de- like get, get murdered or something. Because I feel like she would be like, oh my god, like that Trisha Paytas. Oh no, please yeah. don't kill you. <laughs> it would just be like that. Just see her get murdered. It would just be Not awkward. Trisha I don't want to see it. Like I, it just <laughs> seems. I don't know. It just seems weird. I was like, why Kim? I don't know. Um, you um, know, we'll, see. It, well, they said they were going to have like just the one writer do it all, so that's good. Mm-hmm. It's based on the book, isn't it? It's based on a book that's coming out in. Oh, like, it is. Now that I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I think they said it was like going to be like a Rosemary's Baby type se- season. And I would love though if, because I could see Kim would be willing to do this if mm-hmm. like they just make her like you said a character character of herself, but kind of more exaggerated mm-hmm. and poking fun at her. And I feel like she'd be good being in on the joke. Yes, I think that could be good. Delicate Condition by Daniel Valentine is what it's based off. What is it? What is it about? You know, it's it, well. It says um, it's basically <laughs> even the the synopsis of that is like 
the um the feminist update to Rosemary's baby we all needed. Hmm. A darkly visceral and magical evocative novel. I wanted this baby so badly, but she may be the death of me, is like the tagline. Suck it out with a Vat Dyson. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> um anyway, so yeah, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> You know uh, George can't afford a Dyson. Excuse me. Oh, that's right. Well, I mean, my parents. Mommy, I daddy. <laughs> they got that thing on the wall where it comes. I feel like charge is like, it's crazy. Anyway. Um, <laughs> you tacker. Let me have Before one of I'm your right. supporting <laughs> characters. Okay. Please. Well, I know you guys haven't seen this film and it's just, it's newly out, but I'm going to oh. tell you, I was shocked. Okay. So the movie is called Summoning Sylvia. I haven't shut up about it because it's actually really funny. It's like a, it's called a horror comedy, but it's like less on the spook and more on the funny. Mm-hmm. But when I saw the cast list, not gonna lie, saw that it, I saw Frankie Grande. My, I rolled my what? eyes hard. I've heard of it. Wait, I think I've heard of this. This is the homosexuals that come into. Yes, what, I saw the. Tra- Show me the trailer. I don't know, but keep on going. Let yeah. me tell you, I have to take back my eye roll because mm-hmm. his character is Nico was absolutely hilarious like the mm. the right one the writing in the film's really good but his line delivery and the physicality like the part where they're all and i imagine georgia doing something like this they're all around the table and they're getting ready to seance and suddenly he's like yeah. oh my and i just see george like going full into that and the entire time's like that's george but it was people hey frank i don't know why they hate him so much i just didn't know he could act like well, I, homosexuals I mean he don't really... like him. yeah oh yeah, yeah. But yeah. he was funny. Like, he was such a scene stealer. He's why I ended up, I literally actually bought the movie because I've enjoyed it so much that I've already rewatched it. I gotta watch the. It, it, it's on Amazon, $3.99 rental. It's worth it. I don't it. like Yuri. Yuri's in it. So, what's his name? Michael Yuri. Yeah. Michael Yuri. Yeah. He was in. Uh, okay. It's it's Betty. pretty much yeah. an all queer cast, all diverse. And it's. I love that. Something that I know also George would do. It's they're basically the bachelor party and it's all all these guys are going to go to a haunted house and summon or do a seance to find out what happened. Meanwhile, me, I'd be like, nope, absolutely not. No, thank you. (laughs) You better put me up in a hotel. You all can do that Mm -hmm. shit yourself. That's right. That's, That's right. definitely me. But it, it, it is, okay. it's really funny. He's really good. And he he really, he stole the show. And um, yeah, that would be mine. I, I really enjoyed that film more than I thought I would, to be honest. But to be fair, to give him his due, I did actually enjoy, I did think he was quite funny when he did had that little cameo in Spree in that Netflix mm, movie. Like he had like true. a fun moment in that. And I think, because it was like kind of, I think what it is, is I when you see him on like reality TV, because he's quite a big character, you kind of yes. think like, oh, okay. But when he like plays, like he in Spree kind of played on that character. So it was kind of fun. And I assume like he, he does that character well. So I, I'd be interested to see it. But yeah, he's not. It's it's worth the rental. At least. Yeah, like bros. Um, So... Anyway, yeah, yeah, David. Uh huh. <laughs> have a supporting character you'd like to share with us? I mean, speaking of the BLT community, <laughs> for me, mm-hmm. Josh from Freaky. Yes. Mm-hmm. He. I, I. I. To me, I. I remember watching this when I remember I was watching this, and I was having <laughs> so. I was looking forward to whenever he would show up on camera. Because, uh, well, they, but he's he on, on the on the you know in the movie. But I remember the scene that that I could watch on loop is the one where um she's tied up in his in his house and the mom <laughs> gets home, and where she's like I'm straight and it's like girl and it's like it when they run the knife drops and he's chasing them to the bedroom and they're both it is the gayest most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my entire life and I could watch that on a loop on a loop oh my god what is it I love your black wiener Mr. Daniel like it is <laughs> the the every time it was on scene stole the show stole I, I, I nobody i couldn't see anybody else it was just oh my god and i i wish they would be on more movies because i want to see you know oh agree and like, I, they were crush. so effing good like i that's actually also one of my favorite reactions of yours just you sitting there and when they're like she didn't even like her bitch please <laughs> <laughs> you did this I was like cracked. I was cracked. I was like, oh shit, they got the BLT. But oh my god, it is it's a movie that I've watched because there are certain movies that so I react good. to that I'll just like I'll watch it once and I'll maybe but that's one that I've seen at least like a good six times already. And it's 
a joy I want a sequel time. to it so bad. I oh, just want yeah. to see those characters again. So freaky. Oh, that'd be yeah. cool. Freaky Friday crossover with. <laughs> they were Your talking point? about a um, Happy Death Day and Freaky crossover because it's from oh, the same yeah, people. It's the same good people, isn't it? And they like and they set Twitter mm. afire when they went to um, a movie premiere and it had the two leads: the one from Happy Death Day and the um, girl from Freaky with oh. the um, writer director. And everyone was like, "What? What? What?" <laughs> Oh, I just oh, that would be so much fun though. Like, give yeah. a freak in this, and she happy wakes up freak and she's like, day. Oh, fuck, not again. Like, in happy, you know, oh, that would be so much. Oh, I would live. Those I are would so much fun movies. Yeah, this thing is so fun and you know, not serious and all that stuff because everybody wants, you know, all that. Oh, you know, everybody wants. And Freaky had some gnarly kills, you know, I love that. And something that cr- clicked when I was watching Sorority Row, the death with the bottle. I was like, ah, but he. It, but this one was more the one in Freaky was more graphic because you better knock the shit. Yeah. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> I love she was that. Nasty. Yeah, I don't like I don't like big throats. I don't like that. You didn't like what deep was throats. The girl's name in Sorority like Row throats. wasn't it? Oh. Was her name yeah. Chugs too? Chugs, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you know when when he has you like over the edge of the bed. Oh yeah, and the throat just like I knew that the back. Yeah, yeah. it looks yeah, like yeah. The throat she just, just gets... couldn't handle it. Yeah, yeah. Some people well, come. I, mean, I could. Anyway, moving on. From <laughs> <laughs> yes, Josh Josh is fabulous. <laughs> oh, well, Josh is. Yeah, I, I here's oh, yeah. the one thing because I was like, I watched that film only recently because everyone we always used to talk really? about it. Really? Yeah, because you know, George, it takes them forever. Like, it, it was a bit too, like, silly for me. When, when, no, 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 I thought, I didn't, not when I watched it, like when I saw it advertised, I was like, this is like not, but I really enjoyed it. And I thought that Josh was like one of my favorite parts about it. I have such a crush. Such a crush. I mean, Misha's hot. It's a, they're I mean, all, it's a great cast. They're all like, oh, yeah, they're all beautiful. And, yeah, and beautiful. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's five out of five on the cast. And, okay, Josh. Like if I met, yeah, if I met Misha, I'll be like, <laughs> I, I you know. <laughs> right, I'd be drooling or I can't I wouldn't be able to form words. Oh, so cute. I love and yeah. they'd be like, sir, do you, are you lost? Do you need help? They'd probably try to get me to the nearest nursing home. Come on, grandma. It's time like the me. Okay, yeah. that's all right, grandma. <laughs> Come in. Uh, okay, well, I'll go in. So my next one um is I mean she's iconic. Um, it's Vanessa Williams in Candyman, okay, and Marie in Candyman and Candyman, the new Candyman. Like she's, but no. <gasps> she is it's still my favorite scene from that trailer. <laughs> in the original, she, I remember when I first watched that film, and I was like, and I was like, I don't know who this woman is, but she is like, she, the moment she came on screen, and like, I was like, there's just something about her and about the way that she acts. That like, you're like, oh my god, like, and when she. Obviously, when um, Helen wakes up, oh, the dog, and everything she and the, and the way that like Anne Marie Vanessa's screaming in that, her, like, it, I was just like, she is. Well, she's ripping off the brain. Oh, oh my God. yeah, and she's like, like she just yeah. was so amazing that first movie. She just like went through a roller coaster of emotions, and I was just like, this woman is iconic. Like even like to the very end, like just the way that she like the statue and the way she holds herself when she like walks up to the to the grave at the end. She's sort of like. Mm. she says something about where she she's amazing and then when she came back in like in the new kind of man i was like i'm so glad that they brought her back for that because even though it was only a, sh- a short scene like she still like scene. stole that scene was like hers and it was like she's back and just and the way she's like no please holes <sighs> oh yeah you were i mean personally you know i don't have to look at the face well no, you still not say no to him right Honey. No, I don't know if I anybody would. No yeah, I don't. So, when he showed up, I, I I forgot what movie I was watching. I was <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> thank God the camera was flashing because I would have done something else. But oh <laughs> my God, that man was so fine. Oh, Lord, oh yeah, yeah, yeah is just. <sighs> yeah, like oh, when he was in the joggers with like the hat, like just the beanie, I was like, oh, people. Anyway, I would have said candy man. Yeah, mm-hmm. all the way. Like, but yeah, sorry, but Vanessa, um, in the both those films, she was absolutely fantastic, and she's still like one of the best moments of the original. And it was so nice for them to bring her back. But she does and just the bitch don't age, like she at all. Gorgeous. The movie was over twenty, yeah, 90, was it? 
1992. Yeah, no, I mean, it, she yes. looks really good for her age. Yes, like, like crazy. Disgustingly young. Still. Yeah. So like, I, it oh. took me back when I, like, I watched it and I was like, when she was in the trailer and I was like, is that? And like, so yeah, I, to, like, I didn't know it was really her because I was like too young. But yeah. wow, yeah. good for her. She wants to ride. She does. <laughs> She's had a good George. life. What? I didn't lose your eyes. He's saying that I didn't lose your eyes. Listen. <laughs> just jokes. Just jokes. <laughs> oh my God. Every time I, I see my nails on screen. You guys, I'm so, I'm I'm a mess today. <laughs> Sit on your hands. Like, that's why it's too well, class. You gotta be careful because then you'll, if you play, you know, if you do the wrong thing, you might end up like Helen on the, on the floor with the blood on the... <laughs> I remember my friend had a hangnail the other day and like started oh! pulling it and the skins and I was like, oh, 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 Ooh, yeah, Ooh. that was like, oh, like in Black Swan where she, yes, she's where like, it's oh. like oh. It, oh. that is no. sick. That is my nightmare. That is like having, yeah. oh, yeah, no, 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 I can't do that. Not a vibe. Because then it gets vibe. red and all that, and the blood just starts. Ugh. Yeah, Ugh. It's, I can barely do those HIV tests where you do it and it starts like. Do you have to help the self? Uh, where, you get where, tested. <laughs> I, well, they're just trying to find the like it's, trying, it's patient zero, patient just zero. To, <laughs> like we'll it would be a national health emergency if we didn't <laughs> um but like uh, we have oh. a home testing kits where it's like the little which is i think what they also use for like well any sort of um blood testing it's like the little yeah, blood thing. sugar like, well yeah once I it's like bloody it all starts coming it looks like a horror film and i'm like trying to get it in the little tube and it's just like blood all over oh. me. it's just a finger prick yeah, but you know me, I have to make everything dramatic. So it's yeah, like, Yeah, you dumbass. I like go downstairs and I'm like, to my housemates, I'm like, somebody. And it's like, just like blood all down the hand. And you know what I'd be like? <laughs> well, you need to clean that shit up and start acting like a goddamn oh. man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like, um, what's her name? Jennifer and Jennifer's body where she's like. <laughs> oh, or like Hannah, you know. Um, oh, yeah. And Hannah. Oh, that'll be hot. So good. Sorry. Oh, yeah. uh, oh, sorry. That took us out. Um, Yutaka, who's your? Oh, I want level photos like that though, like covered in blood and just oh, like. I would like. Sorry, it's, it's David's oh. turn. Oh, is, is it? No, oh. it's not. It's you. No, it's you, isn't it? It's you and then David. I've just done yeah. mine. I'm the last one. But just talking about blood photo shoots, real quick. Scream two photo shoot with all those girls in the bathroom. Oh, yeah. oh my god, the... that would be so cute to recreate. We should do that. Oh my god, up, yeah. Uh, we can all be oh on night gowns. And then Liam's just a shower curtain. <laughs> no, you don't see Liam. There's just a, there's just like a, a a vape where he would be. <laughs> He's smoke. the whole bathroom, darling. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Y'all are terrible. Oh, okay. Well, I thought mm. I okay. Anyways, so my next one is a film that I don't think we've actually talked about in quite. I don't think we have, and it's it is one of my favorites. The David Cronenberg film. It is an '80s classic. I didn't realize it won an Oscar though. Work, but it it's is. Awesome. It is. Oh, it's a probably special effects, but it's mm. Gina Davis in The Fly. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Like mm. one, she's stunning, and mm -hmm. I think that's when I think her and Jeff Goldblum were still married. But what, I mean, I I love The Fly. I think it's really practical effect heavy. It's grotesque, it's and wet. it's yes, and it's kind of heartbreaking at the end. Yeah, George, I don't. I have oh, seen the fly. Yeah, oh, okay. I've seen fun. Oh, <laughs> Kelsey oh, Prince. Yep, mm -hmm. right. And yeah, I just professor. think she was okay. so good in all her scenes, and just I just love the '80s, like the big hair, and she'd always show mm -hmm. up, and I'm like, work. And there's yeah. just something about Gina Davis. I love, like, honestly, I know a lot of people hate on um, Cutthroat Island, but I I love it. It's so bad. I don't think I've seen that Cutthroat Island. Is that an '80s? Uh, it was a 90s film, like, I, before, like, the whole Pirates of the Caribbean thing, and it was considered a colossal failure, and it derailed some careers. Oh, really? Uh-oh. I, oh. I still can't get over the fact was that... Was Katy Perry in that movie? No, but she's coming she to the King King's coronation, so <laughs> oh. that says it all. Oh, she is? Uh -oh. Yeah, so he couldn't get any British people. Adele and everyone was like, her cheering, like, no thanks. <laughs> so now he's at a <laughs> That is shady. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> I cut so, yeah. so cut, what was it called? Cutthroat Island. Cutthroat Island, yeah. It starred Matthew Modine and Gina Davis, and they were treasure hunters or pirates, you know. Or um actually one of my favorites with Gina Davis, Long Kiss Goodnight with Samuel Jackson, where um she's oh, a I housewife who um 
I don't know if it's like a sleeper agent, but suddenly like her assassin instincts kick in and people are trying to kill her and kill her family. And she like turns into like badass mode. Oh, it's so awesome. Ooh. I mean, I love I, Gina Davis. So that's she's great. I do really like her. I mean, A League of Their Own is a comfort movie for me. So I just. <gasps> oh, that's also another fabulous film. It's just like a cozy movie. I don't know. It just feels right. I don't know. George. Okay. You've never seen A League of Their Own? Do you know who's mm. in it? No. Should Is it somebody that I like that's in it? Not that you like, but iconic people. Who's I mean, iconic, Rosie though? O'Donnell, Madonna, Anna. Tom Hanks. There's Not no him. crying in baseball. You never heard of this? It's no. Oh, it's I'm not a Tom Hanks fan though. He's weird. Oh, you oh. think he's weird? Have you seen the sun? No, I... <laughs> that's what I was gonna. Say. <laughs> I, I get, I get like an ick from mm-hmm. Tom Hanks. I really, I I, yeah, I didn't trust him. I think something's gonna. Yeah, no, I think things will come out. Um, anyway. Oh, you can't <laughs> just say shit like that. Not about Woody, Tom bitch. Hanks. No, I really, not Woody. Yeah, oh I, my ever, Lord. ever ever since he like, especially when he didn't, he was like really shocked and like didn't laugh and stuff at um, what's his name, Ricky Gervais's jokes at the Golden Globe. I was like, this guy's hiding something. We don't, we don't trust Hold this on. man. Well, 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 oh, wait, 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 You can't I say love that Ricky when... Gervais, but Ricky Gervais can be, you know, Tom Hanks is known as the Family Man, so he can be yeah. laughing at you know, yeah, I, jokes. I, yeah, that's in the bottom, don't know. Okay. I guess, like, I'm sure you, uh, great, uh, great gowns, wonderful gowns, but yeah. An Oscar winner. Two great. time I'm Oscar so, winner and some uh, of the uh, best. Oscars films. doesn't mean crap, guys. Well, neither do the fucking BAFTAs, but you all seem to care oh, about it. I don't care about BAFTAs. I'm not bloody, as you think I am, Liam. I'm not into Or the BAFTAs. Olivier's. Are they Olivier's? Oh, I just turn up to them just to get drunk with champagne at the end and go home. With... Anyways. Oh my God. When I Tom saw, Hanks. When I saw just Le- bloody Luke on the red carpet after hours. Anyway. Oh, you told me. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> so, Gina. Gina Davis, the fly. Anyways, moving on. Have mercy. Um, David, mm-hmm. who's your next pick, sir? Well, mine is very recent and I fell in love with her because she stole the show and she should not have been shot. And murdered, and that's Alice from Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. Because Alice, <laughs> Alice an was icon. Alice. What Alice did because those whores were so chaotic. But Alice <laughs> was in a different league of chaos, where it was very much like, oh my god, that scene where they're asking, "How long have you been with him?" And she's like, "A oh, while," you know. Like she to me was, because she was the comedy. She was to me. She was the Jennifer of this group. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like where everything was so serious and everybody was dying, but she still manages to be like, oh my God, the podcast and, all, you know, like everything. It's really just, hard you know, whole world. to do a podcast. A lot of work goes into it. I don't know the full line, but oh, that yeah. cracks me up. And what I felt upper middle <laughs> class. <laughs> that no, but I knew that she was going to, I knew that she was going to die because all of my favorite characters, like with Sorority Row, I was like, I know Jessica's gonna kill. I just know Jessica's gonna get killed. But yeah, it was that same thing. And she was so cute. And I just was obsessed with her when she uh ugh, ugh. and yeah, I I don't know, because everybody else was so there was a there was a like a what was that one we um Lord of the Flies? Mm-hmm. Oh, Everybody's I could like, see that. To, yeah. You know, and she's just she was just in a whole other movie whenever yeah. she just plopped into Lord of the obsessed with her obsessed with her and oh my god everything is so not serious with her and everything is just like it's serious but it's not i don't know if it makes sense like everything is well with her everything is grand yeah but it's not serious i don't know but i just obs- obsessed with her she should not have died i think because to see her face at the end when she sees what happened i would have paid for that <laughs> like yeah. how i oh we my god an alternative ending with that yes like oh my god see yeah even though the two final girls were like because that entire fight with the gun, like, that was wild. I mean, yeah. I love that movie. That movie was so much fun. It was so. But to good. me, she, but to me, she was the standout, and of course, to every a lot of people because everybody was obsessed with Alice. But you know, Alice, honestly, Alice. I think that was kind of like a big career boost for her because it, it was a really good performance too. Like I think it, like people were like wait, we need to keep somebody people were that. telling me recommending is it Shiva Baby that she mm-hmm. plays? Oh, you haven't seen that? No, I haven't seen it, but I have. Oh, on my list. I think you'd like that. Yeah, okay, because yeah. she's she, really good. She just seems like somebody that would be hel- like in more comedies, just because she re- like I just couldn't stop laughing. Everything she just said was so funny to me. 
mm-hmm. and ah, lived obsessed, obsessed. And her man, who he found, what's his name? Lee Pace. Lee Pace. What is it? Six five. Mm-hmm. I think his husband's the same size too. Have mercy. Well, well, the gays got chan? a good one on that one. Mm-hmm. One in each hand, bring a motherfucking friend. <laughs> I was there for Pete Davidson, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> Oof, girl. Stand up. <laughs> Oof, girl. I can't help you with that one. <laughs> anyway. I'm sorry. Um, okay, so oh, um, my next one then. I have, and aren't I they know, fucking? The one that she was with in the movie? I, I think they <laughs> Yeah, but then I... Can we talk about the fact that apparently Timothy Chalamet is dating Kylie Jenner? What that ass and that swing? Like, there's no way that he's servicing that. Hitting it from the back. I could just, I could just picture. So I the after hours is going to be a great <laughs> conversation, you all. <laughs> Timothy uh, Chalamet climbing all that ass. Have mercy. Jesus. Oh, yeah. anyway. um, he could barely so, climb the other one and call me by your name. But anyways, moving on. I haven't seen that. Um, well, okay, so my my next one. Um, where's my last one? But is I mentioned this actress. Uh, the other, I think, I think it was last time I was on. Whenever we did, um, like iconic women of horror, it's Lynn Shay, and um, and this is her as um Elise in the Insidious franchise, but mainly like in the first one because she's she becomes more of a, like a main. She gets a, a, her role becomes bigger, which I was so glad about the franchise, and I'm really excited to see Insidious five because Patrick Wilson. Anyway, um, come on, but no, he's um, fine. Yeah, but Lin Shay was... I love when he plays um, Ed Warren in oh. those tight pants. Those tight pants? Lord yeah, Lord. and like the tight shirt and like the... Oh, his hair. Right. Um, but this is Lin Shay. And Lin Shay's great too. She's iconic. But <laughs> You don't want to eat Lin Shay? Um, I'm going to pass on that one. Um, <laughs> but she does... I, like, what I loved about her in this is like, she's just so dramatic. Like, I feel oh, like yeah. in this film, like, if it's like not that deep and she like comes in, she's just like, it's not the house, it's haunted. It's your son. Like I'm just like, you know what? She would that's how I would act if I had her job. And she's just like all when she's like, yeah. Like she just has like this hand movement and she does like the way she like hot. I think it's in the second one where she like pops out of the blue in like um the, the nether realm, whatever it's called. And she like has the big like lantern and she looks like Florence Nightingale and she's coming in like oh. she's just like she's I love so... the beginning when she opened the door and she's just cracking <laughs> up and she's like yeah it's, it's hilarious to me i don't know and then, i think it's the end charming. she's she's get she's got like a quality about that's like so it's like i don't know if homely is right but like you say charming like you feel like safe it's a very white effect yeah oh it's exactly mm-hmm. what it is like placid right. um like she, she like she just like i'm like i feel i would feel safe with lynn shay if she was like as elise like i would be like i trust this one with my life and she just brings like some such pain. I wouldn't trust him with any with my next door neighbor. But I gotta analyze um, this because this is crazy to me. <laughs> um, but yeah, <laughs> Lynn is the least like she brought like an she brought like a grand oh. realism and like campness to the film, which was like sort of needed. But it wasn't camp as in like oh, this is embarrassing. Like she just added a bit of gravitas to the like to the role and kind of yeah. gave a bit of drama to those like dark moments. And and I I love her and I really hope that she, I don't know if she's in this next one. I don't really know. I mean, like... her character's dead, so... But she's been in all of the rest of them. Well, they were, like, prequels. Flashbacks? Three wasn't. Yeah, but, but three? She... Three was, yeah. No, no there was girl one got where her she... neck broken. No, no, no. The... she was shown in, she was shown in, the, in the... Which one was it that she was in, that they showed her in, in as In dead? the second one, she was definitely dead, because she okay. was in the other realm. Yeah, uh-huh. she's... She... Homegirl dead. But she can come back. It's in, it's she's just lost in that other little world. So she can if she if, if they go if Stu's coming back for Scream Seven, or you mean like Drew Barrymore's coming back? Oh my god! I was like, seven. I was like Drew. <laughs> <laughs> she she could have survived that. Uh huh. Yeah. Lesser. Okay. She did. Um, well, I, hey, do you know what? I, I don't, if she came back, I'd be like, fine. If Stu came back, I'd be like, no. No, be actually. Oh. You know, somebody said, well, what if they did like a whole like new nightmare? But with Scream, and I was like, "Wait, yeah, hold up! That's what they're <gasps> going to do with the Scream no. series? Could you imagine bringing back all the actors and like now it's somebody who's killing off the actors? Yeah, I don't think Radio Science would ever do that, but no, I would no, like no, to. No. Well, but just say it. But then we have to bring back Tori Spelling. <laughs> <laughs> but then we get to bring back. Oh, you no, know we can't who. bring back Jennifer. 
We can't write Jennifer because she's not part. She wasn't anyway. Oh. Yeah, damn, damn. I mean, Cody I would cry. Sh- <laughs> but anyway, I can't. Really. They could um, all be there for like a funeral scene. Yeah, I'm like popped up like a Puerto Rican funeral. Have you seen a Puerto Rican funeral? No. I what's just prop him up. What happened? I was telling this to yeah, Nick and, like, he, and he didn't believe like me. Like a drink and stuff. And they're like. Like they're, they're taxidermy. Like, you know, they're kind of like, you know, the skin is still there, but they're just sitting on the table like. Stop it. Look this up. A Puerto Rican funeral. Yes. I went oh to a Puerto Rican funeral when I was in high school. And I was like, where's the body? The bitch was on the couch. <laughs> what? Uh, yes. I'm not even. I'm not making. I'm not making. I know people. Think, Holy I'm shit. not making this up. I am not looking that up. up. That's creepy, yeah. but amazing. Yeah. I guess. Just, I mean, if it's part of the culture, yeah. I could just imagine you yes. in that situation being like um, George from Scary Movie Three. It's like, why she's why she's propped up like that, George? It's awake, Brenda. You're alive. <laughs> I, would just sit the, I would just sit next to the dead person and be like, this party's dead, isn't? Like, no, like, I was just having a blast. I would, I would just be like, Oof. no, but that's crazy. I was like cracked when I first saw that shit. I was like. Oof. But That's yeah, crazy. Okay, look it up. But, but yeah, Lynn Shay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she's great. And yeah, I'd like to see maybe if she can come back, but she's iconic and everything. Okay, you, Taka, how about you? Oh, man. I'll, I'll When we get to the end, I'll save that one for an honorable mention kind of mm-hmm. thing. But mm-hmm. I, I know I, I won't go too far into like details since I know uh, David's not watched this show, but it's Yellow oh. Jackets. And it's Christina oh, yeah. Ricci's character, Misty. She's a so, supporting character? Yeah, well, I mean, technically they're all four leads, but I think it's really more about Melanie Linsky's character. And mm. um, I mean, technically, even in the cast, it's like Christina Ricci gets the and treatment and then Julia Lewis gets the with treatment. So you kind of look at them as supporting. And I think they're mm. even sub- submitting their like award stuff as supporting. So I, I look at it as that. But Misty stole my heart. This character just did because she's crazy. And I love her. And she um she just Misty does some Day. she does some whack shit. Like she's spying on her friends. All of a sudden, her friend is about to like, you know, do drugs. And you know, she just got out of rehab and Misty like flies over, busts into the hotel room. Pushes her out of the way and does all the coke herself. <gasps> Ooh. Oh. And it's one of the Mm-mm. funniest I things ever. Because she's just like, just, is it supposed to burn? Is, is this Ooh. what it's supposed to be like? Is <laughs> it Connie and Carla? But, George, have you ever seen Connie and Carla? I've, yes. No, I'm not. I, no, I, have. I have. I know what it is, but I've not oh, seen okay. it. But so, uh, yeah. her character, like the way Misty is, she's just very. Um, like something's not right up top however mm-hmm. she's always going to be loyal she's di- w- uh, she's a good investigator but she's also very ocd like she's literally like george but with hair and talent uh-huh. std o- ocd what do you yeah uh-huh yeah it's the same thing <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I would say, David, if you haven't watched Yellow Jackets, I don't know if you are. You should. Not for the channel, but I'm probably going to sit down and watch it. That's what. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no. Just watch it. Have have a blast. And you'll see why I I just. Anytime Missy's character on. Huh? (laughs) I just got the season two of Angel. Bitch. They just introduced this character called Lorne. (gasps) Oh, my God. I love Lorne. I I, want to marry him. But anyways, continue with the Yellow Jackets. (laughs) Obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. Is that who you're talking about next? I should. No, no, no. I, I, I haven't seen enough episodes yet, so I can't. Really oh, talk. okay. Well, um, yeah, just, yeah. just know, yes, I would marry that man too. Demon, whatever. He is so oh, hilarious obsessed. and angel. Like, oh. and he's got a great voice. And oh my god, oh, yeah. yeah, I get it. I, I, yeah, the aesthetic. I want, I want, I, I want to marry him. Like, I genuinely want to marry. Him. Dressed to the nines every time. Liberace, honey. <laughs> he's so good i love lauren I, i'm so happy <laughs> but anyways misty yellow jacket she's like, great I'm like, um yeah <laughs> oh, shit. george is still like beautiful gowns beautiful gowns yes. that's like, a shame george because angel's great I mean, that's, yeah. i'm so, so happy many we're on that episodes of buffy and okay stuff, like um how how many hours of Scream did you watch Ooh. last year? Sure. 
Um, I'm just saying you yeah, could have well. finished the, the series Buffy and Angel in that time frame. I I would do like two, three episodes a day. I know, but now I'm rewatching watch. American Horror Story, so I've just gotten to oh, Coven. Lord. So like I can't yeah, but I've just started Coven, so I See. can't not I can't not watch Coven. Like, I can might... guess you can. Anyway. Or you can go back and forth. Yeah, true. I could do two two. I'm I am used to doing Usually like, do two at a time. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe I'll mm-hmm. try it with film. I, I mean, as much as you put in your both both of your ends, I'm just saying you could like squeeze something. in an episode. <laughs> Or yeah. two. Okay. Mm. All right. Have fun. So Misty in Yellow Jackets. Wonderful. Thank you, Yutaka. Okay. Well, David, I mean... You see, now, now Yutaka got me thinking. Really? Because I thought we knew who this film was going to be. No, 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 no. I wasn't going to... I'm not going to do that. I'm really? Not gonna no, because to me, she didn't, because to me, she wasn't supporting. To me, she like, carried. Tr- so it's <laughs> different. So, you know. <laughs> but we all know what I'm talking about, so let's, you know. But... Now, really, George, you talk got me thinking because I was like, I really am obsessed with Anya and Buffy. <gasps> to me, she, to me, to me. Okay. But she's not the one that I had in mind. I love but Emma just know, Just know that every time she's on screen, I can't see. Even if even if Buffy's on the screen, I just can't. She steals the show. She's so sarcastic. <laughs> this is this. There's this. Um, where she doesn't. She doesn't know like social skills. So she just says oh. whatever the fuck she. Uh, Oh, <laughs> my God, obsessed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I actually picked Bella Thorne and The Babysitter. Okay, yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> I love it. Nobody's going <laughs> to suck my boob. Nobody's going <laughs> to... I had so much fun watching that movie. I mean, they were all... All the antagonists were hilarious. But Bella Thorne was... There's a pattern here. But she was just in her own separate dimension. And she the, even the reasons why she was doing it and her outfit when she just... When the plane spin the bottle and she's just laying on the side, she she was the definition of cunt. Mm-hmm. She looks so good, and everything she just said, the the fights, and even in part two, when she just run with the heels on and she's just like feeling her fantasy, and she's like, ah, ah. That, to me, she would just stole the show. She was on a category of her own, but I, it just because I was everybody has this thing of Bella Thorne where they're like, you know hmm. but, i don't get it i i mean i know but i don't get it because actually she's not bad in some of her films she's actually quite fun because no, i know she started in disney isn't it disney mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. she started yeah, what, was... with uh shake it up was that the name of the show i think yes yes yeah, something like that yeah shake yeah it? yeah, yeah. Mm. And, uh, so, is it shake it up or florence on the machine that's a good song anyways but the point is she i was always the always this air that always this thing that i've Always heard. So when I saw her in the movie, I was like, "Uh oh." But she, I was like, "Oh no, I, I, she needs to." I want her. I want a part three just so she can be in it. I mean, the movies are <laughs> ridiculous. But is this for me? It's the scene where she gets shot across the room, and the titty. Oh my god, it is hilarious. And she's just, she's just so charming that you can't not like her. So that's why yeah. I was like confused as to why people didn't really fuck with her like that. <laughs> but for me, I thought she really stole the show and hala- so funny. I can't believe she's not in more comedies. But she was just hysterical. She's been Part doing a especially. lot more um, indie Only thrillers. Fans? Oh, and she's not bad at it, but yeah, like a million dollars got that too, <laughs> or something like that. That was crazy. I wish I had that power. Can you? Yeah, I mean, I think they had to change, like, put on restrictions and everything because of how much money she made. Yeah. Yes. That and is. And people wild. were like, "Well, we thought you were going to do this and this." She's like, "I never said that." Oh. Because I just assume OnlyFans puss. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Read the yeah. small print, guys. That's right. I mean, that's probably something I would do too. I know. Me. We saw. <laughs> Wait, is that why you made that post? That. <laughs> <laughs> but I was feeling my fantasy. I was my fan. I saw. I know chest all about like, that. Oh. On your chest. No, feeling the fantasy. Oh. Well, <clears throat> no, nothing on the chest. I've um, got nothing on there. Uh, well, you can just do, you know, what? some bench press. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or I'll just like put a shadow on it on Photoshop and just Or like Mariah when she did abs. <laughs> <laughs> Not that. Fake abs, yeah. All that. Oh, oh my god, like the guy have you seen those videos of the guys that get the implants? I, I didn't even see the guy. I lived with a guy who spent no. fifty grand on <gasps> implants and he had he had abs, he had to sleep with a like a a mold in so that it keeps them because so they don't move. What? Wait. Mm. Hold How up. does that work though, like with your weight and because your weight fluctuates? I mean, he got lipo yeah. a lot, so oh, 
Oh my god. That is too much work. That is Honestly, and he was work. like 25, and I was like, this is so like 25? I'm... Yeah. That's how long you talk about well, never mind. Um, <laughs> but the point is, what? I know. Like I understand. Hey, don't get me wrong, I'll have a nip and tuck here and there, but like all of that at 25, I was like, that's, that's a, lot. a lot. But I suppose every it's up to everyone. If it, he felt more confident like that, then but 50 grams are wrong. Was he fat? No. Damn. He'd like I'm confused. I was for sure. You was he like, just addicted to surgery? Well, he used to work. Um he worked as a as a receptionist in a plastic in a cosmetic surgeon's office in um the Columbia. Dentist. So Columbia. Yeah, yeah, he's he's Colombian. Oh. Well, he's Scottish, but he lived in Columbia. Anyway. Um, and so he he racked up um <laughs> he basically was like, I want to get all this work done and racked up um like 50 grand's worth of Woo! um and his parents paid off um oh. so yeah but i mean hey i mean he looked good but it was weird because he'd be like he'd be like feel it and you could like feel the oh moving yeah like shifting oh you could no, feel no, no, it, but no, you no, could no, feel no. that it was because it always reminds you of i remember what? seeing those videos those girls who had like the um the butt implants the and butt? like when it would like stick the out on the it. side and you had to like flip it round what? oh my god yeah, yes. you can see it like goes like it, it's yeah, cool, but... she, there was one that she flipped it around from in her ass. Yeah, and, and it like, like shifted sticks. from the bottom. No. She goes, oh, hang on. I'm just... <laughs> Honestly, that is I the know. wildest thing. Yeah. That's Wild. too much work. Too much work. Yeah, it is. That's when like... I got the ass, the, uh, the BBLs and all that stuff, and then they one of them got infected, like an infection or something, and then she had she had a whole black hole in her ass. Yeah, I watch botch too much to be able to like even consider anything like that. The most I could do is like maybe a little bit of filler or botox or something yeah mm -hmm. like I probably, it, yeah. maybe do nose and yeah maybe some lipo a nose job yeah i need a nose job oh no, no. george i almost said it i almost said it um george <laughs> <laughs> why because it's given like I stephanie like german of often it's like i don't like any of y'all <laughs> i think your nose is lovely it's, it's such a streisand nose <laughs> the streisand effect um I was I was thinking of you yesterday because she came up. Well, I can't sing like Streisand though, so nobody can sing like Streisand, me. darling. But what happened? What what what's, what happened? How how did she come up? Who? You said uh, she came up. Yeah, oh, yeah she came Streisand. up on TikTok. Um, and she said about like, and it was like a montage of her. And I thought David, I sort of sent to you, and it was like her saying, um, you know, I never considered myself to be a singer, but I used to sing on the, um, well, she hates the singing. on the steps in in the Bronx or something, or like you know, Brooklyn. I used to know Brooklyn. All right, sorry, yeah. she's not number one. Singing? Yes, well, four fifty seven Schenectady Avenue, Brooklyn. Okay, okay. I didn't know. All right, that. you absolute freak, <laughs> girl. You can't say that. We'd be like. Where was Nev Campbell at like um, such and such time and date? And you was like, oh, she was doing this, this, and wearing this. Like, don't even, George. Don't even. <laughs> Next question. See ya. Do you know what uh, Whitney Houston's last words were? It's too hot. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I <laughs> Guys, oh my thank God. you so much for watching. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Well, anyways. Oh. Oh. Before we finish, does anyone have any honorable mention? I do. I have one. <laughs> oh, it's getting hot. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Oh, David, you are so awful. <laughs> oh, they're going to come for you. Oh, they Ooh. come for me all the time. <laughs> That's true. Okay. My honorable mention. Um. Would oh. have to be oh. because she's always good in horror. Actually, she's good in a lot of her films. Mm. Uh, Tony Collette in The Sixth Sense. Oh, mm. Mm. I was watching an interview, not an interview, but she was watching, re watching her movies, like her oh, clips. Oh my gosh, she has wearing this purple dress. Oh, what? Oh, anyways, no, no, but yeah, no, she would that. That's just, I always remember, like, I was when I saw that, I was like, she deserves an award, and she never, I don't think she ever got one. Or was even nominated. Which... And stunning, stunning. That scene in the car, and she's just like the face up. Mm. She's like, Cole, you're scaring me. Mm. And I like that. Yes, that that the conversation. Mm. And oh my God. Yeah, no. I I freaking loved her performance in that. And it was just such, I mean, such a great film. Um, but yeah. Okay. 
she was really good. She is iconic. Did you have an honorable mention at all? Anyone else you wanted to bring up, David? <clears throat> I mean, I don't want to be. You need to clear your throat but... anymore. But... <laughs> I'm still drowning. Um, but the I, <laughs> I mean, as it's it's it has to be said at this point, you know, as part of the contract, yeah. Janessa, Janessa to me is like you know she stole the show. There's no <laughs> nobody, you know. Yeah. Just don't rip my pants, okay? Like it's just and that I. <laughs> I always have to skip her death, even though it's a good death. But I just I have to look away. Do you know the away. exact time moment? You're like ten seconds. <laughs> I w- oh I always know I always know. It's like oh this sucks so, so many hours. Wow and oh, so and then the, the, just you can just see the 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 meat hanging. Oh, just so yeah. sad. She was... just so, but she really she just uh, oh my god I love her when she's riding the professor with the nipple clamps and all that stuff. Oh my god, so good. Mm. <laughs> I learned a lot from her. I learned a lot from her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, learned a lot. Oh yeah, in college. Oh yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay. Um, and then I would say mine would be my would be um Maggie from Thirteen Ghosts because she the babysitter. Oh my god! I I almost did. Yeah, she was. (laughs) She's just like in like a few sort of, but she every scene that she did, she like just ate it. Like she was like, oh, she's so good, and that like just. The, when she like puts the glasses on with Matthew Lynch, she's like, "Where is it?" She's like, "It's over there." Like, and then obviously the ending. Of course, this is not in the job description. But I quit. It's just like, so good. like she's so good, and yeah, she just and she's like, "Oh, be careful!" Like when she's like going down the halls, and she's like, oh, "Like she's yeah, she was great in that." I mean, I really charming, enjoyed her. Like, charming, yeah, charming. exactly. Like she was like, yeah. I was like, I, I wish that was my nanny, but mine wasn't like that. So, oh, you had um, a nanny. I was going to say, I didn't have a nanny. I wish I had a nanny. <laughs> just wish my parents loved me. Um, well, so, well. And on that note, guys, thank you so much for joining this absolutely unhinged episode of um, The Horror Hour <laughs> today that went off on tangents galore. <laughs> um, we hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please not. I have fun. Oh, no. I have yeah, fun. I had a blast. It was great. <laughs> I missed this. Um, it's been fun times. And yeah, as always, please not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you would like to see this episode. Well, you wouldn't be able to see this episode early, but if you'd like to see our next episode early, why not follow us on Patreon? Links in the description below. You get early access and you also get access to our after hours um, and extra live streams and all goodies. But if you don't want to do that, you can just follow us on Twitter and Instagram. We're at the Horror TV for both. Um, and yeah, if you don't want to do that, thanks so much. We love you and have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Oh. Bye. You have been listening. To the horror hour. See you next time.